Clint Savala. Welcome to your empowerment journey. I am a certified coach and best-selling author, and I am committed to unlocking the potential of women and creating life-changing experiences. I am dedicated to empowering women and transforming lives. Today, we're going to set the foundation. I'm going to give you three areas of focus where you can start to unleash your power. But first, let me tell you a little bit about why I do this work. I'm passionate about supporting and empowering women through the coaching and mentoring process. I'm going out on a limb here and I'm taking a bit of a risk by talking about this, but the fire in me to do this work has turned into a blazing inferno. I am compelled to act and I am compelled to bring this information to you. And let's be honest, there are many battlefields where opponents are lining up to disempower women. And this isn't political, this is practical. Oftentimes, our safety and our freedoms are being questioned. So things are changing fast, and women need to be engaged and prepared to make sure that they are empowered to live the lives that they are intended to live. The current landscape in 2024 is begging for women to step into their power. I want women to feel confident and capable of achieving their goals. My hope is that my clients recognize their potential, a potential that I already see in them. And we can passionately voice our frustrations with our best girlfriends. And I know I've done that again and again. But the fact is, is that that will not change anything. And now is the perfect time for us to act and embrace our innate strengths and step into our power. And focusing in the areas of financial literacy, career management, and health and wellness is a critical first step. So. Let's talk about these three areas to increase your power. Let's first talk about financial literacy. Achieving financial stability is not just about your ability to earn money. It's also about understanding and managing your finances wisely. Whether you are the primary breadwinner, you earn equal money with a partner, or your partner is the primary breadwinner, understanding and having financial literacy is a must to feel empowered. You need to know where the money comes from and you need to know where the money goes. And money can be a difficult topic for a lot of us to talk about. It taps into our deepest feelings about ourselves and our self-worth. It also activates our fears and is linked to our very survival. The topic of money is very complicated and often triggering. And if we are not taught as a young child to have a healthy relationship with money, then we need to develop that healthy relationship as an adult. But oftentimes as adults, we start to avoid money and start to avoid managing our finances or understanding where um, our money is going. So use these simple tips that you can help to improve your relationship with money. The first tip is to create a budget and track your expenses so you can gain clarity on your financial situation so you can understand what money you have coming in, what money you have going out. And when you create this awareness, you are able to make decisions that are in your best interest. The second one, and when you are able, start saving and investing so you can start to build your money and achieve your financial goals and your financial security. The third tip is explore opportunities to increase your income. So if you have a side hustle idea, there are a lot of things that you can do for a little effort that you can do to earn extra money if that's what you need to do. The second area of focus to unleash your inner power is career options. So whether you're looking to advance in your current career or switch up professions or start your entrepreneurial journey, women need to be strategic about their ability to generate income. When you have an outlet for your greatest ambitions and passions, you are more fulfilled and happy. As you create a roadmap to your future, you create options. You can choose what you desire to do and do the work that you love, not just tolerate the work that you do. So these options also create a safety net when life throws you curveballs. So whether it's corporate downsizing or a loss of a partner's income or any other significant event that impacts your life and career, you will be thankful that you have developed your skills and safeguarded your career options. Use these steps to maximize your ability to generate income. Tip number one, 
Identify your strengths, your skills, your passions to set meaningful goals. Think of your next three to four career moves because I want you to understand that you will stand out and you will excel based on your skills and your talents. So make sure that you're identifying those skills and talents and mapping out your next career moves. Tip number two, invest in skill development and continuous learning so you can stay competitive in the field that you're in. And when you're ready, ask for the position, the job that you want. A lot of times women don't ask for what they want. So when you see a position, a job, something that you want, that you are wanting to achieve, ask for it. I Make sure that you're ready for it. Make sure that you have your skills and your resume built up. But when you're ready, ask for that position. Tip number three, create a community and strategically build your network. Seek out career coaching and mentorship so you can make sure to access new career opportunities and insights. The third foundational area that you need to focus on to make sure that you're able to unleash your power is focusing on health and wellness. Your health is your most valuable asset. Your body is your vehicle to manifest your purpose and your passion in this lifetime. You cannot feel empowered if you are not caring for your body to the best of your ability. Include holistic and traditional interventions. Make sure that you are moving your body and maintaining good mental health practices, getting proper nutrition and getting good sleep. This will allow you to be strong and emboldened to advocate for yourself and incorporate these tips so you can make sure that you are feeling empowered. Prioritize exercise and physical activity. I know that as we get older, especially, that exercise and movement is so important. So make sure to make it a priority. Practice mindfulness and stress management techniques. Stress is a killer. Stress is going to take us out. So make sure that you are managing your stress appropriately. Meditation is one of my favorite things to manage that centering and calming of my nervous system. So make sure that you're practicing mindfulness on a regular basis. And focus on a balanced diet. We are what we eat. You need to fuel your body appropriately so you have enough energy to do the things that you are meant to do. So make sure to fuel your body effectively. And remember, an empowered woman does not result in anyone else being disempowered. An empowered woman embraces her strengths, passions, and potential and takes charge of her life making informed decision and positively impacting her own well-being and the well-being of those around her. So make sure to unleash your potential and take your power into your own hands and do not abdicate your power to anyone else. If you need support or feeling empowered, schedule a free session with me. And I have free resources in the notes below. So make sure to access them and use them and make sure that you are on that journey to be an empowered woman.